Hello gamers and welcome to episode 50 of Let's Play Battle Brothers with the Sons of Odin. Yes, Jubilee episode, episode 50, still alive, it's day 87. Day 100, I think, um, gives an achievement. I fulfilled some contracts, bought some armor for Casimir the Idiot. And um, I'm in a good shape, I think. I've lo got lots of people. And I think uh, what I do need now is a new contract to celebrate this episode with some nice income. Let's go here. I think there's nothing. I haven't done any contracts down here in the recent episodes. And not for the noble house either. But I'm going to take this noble house contract, maybe buy some food first. If affordable. Ah, oh, this is a super expensive place. I need to buy some more at least. Okay, that's a bit better. Let's take the contract. Duke Grimald of Berengar grins. Okay, it's again a patrol mission, I think, yeah. 90 crowns per head and up to 55, 25 per head. We need to be paid more. Okay. Oh, 100 crowns per head. Okay, I accept. I accept. Oh, that's quite a bit. Is there a guy I could recruit? Cripple a grave robber. What's that, a squire? Look at this price. The daily wage is really high. He's cheap, he's an apprentice. Hmm. I think I might go for the grave robber. Gieselherr. But he's too expensive because of his helmet. So maybe no one at this stage. I want to get some more uh, weapons. Better weapons. While on the march, you come across a line of stopped wagons. A hunchman and Mildred leans back from behind of the wagons. He's got a wild look on his face. Hey, who are you? What are you doing here? You inform the stranger that you're the captain of the Sons of Odin. The man straightens up. Oh, sell swords then. And I thought my luck had up and run off on me. Look, I got a problem that my hired hands refused to help with. They didn't care when they, they didn't know better. But the damn cloak fell off the wagon and then just wouldn't shut up. Uh, how I wasn't paying them enough um, to transport such goods. What do you need help with? The animal tamer leads you to a carriage. You immediately see why his higher tents quit. A frenzied and mercurial wild man is sitting inside the cage. Raw wrists bleed against his shackles. I have to read that because it's exciting. Half staff, the wild man gnaws on sticks poking out from a tumbleweed of a beard. Seeing this sad sight, you grab the stranger by his shirt and slam him against the wagon. Does that look like an animal to you? The animal tamer grins, ivory for teeth. He explains himself. City folk have gotten wind of the uncivilized wild men and wish to see them up close. I'm only fulfilling this new demand as any businessman would. Now all I need with this is you know, to get that uh, dead body out of the cage. He points towards the corpse in the corner of the cage. The wild man rears back, snarling, and um, goes to protectively sit on the body. The animal tamer shakes his head. One of my helpers got too close, and well, yeah, I can't go into town with that mess in there, so I ought maybe you could help me finish it out. I'll pay you plenty, of course. A pot of 250 crowns sound good to you. Just reach on in there and yank that garbage out. All right, I'll send a man in. Our monk seems a little disturbed by this. I won't put my life the life of my man at risk. Our monk seems a little disturbed by this, I want to say that. The monk is cool. Tostic the monk steps forward, hands clasped, head borrowed forward, the embodiment of a sermon, the posture of good morals or misguided ones. He pulls the tamer aside. The old gods would frown upon what you have done here. The animal tamer laughs and leans against the cage, smuggy across crossing his arms. He states that the old gods consider slavery a part of the natural order. The monk continues. 
true and it is by their grace that we are to make good use of our slaves. But this wild man is not kin to our way of life. You wish to enslave him by means of his being an outsider. He does not understand the relationship which makes it especially grievous and improper. My suggestion is to have him work for you and learn from you. Make him a friend and you will have a friend for life. The imprisoned wild man's hands dart through the bars and digs his fingers into his eyeballs. His face is ripped apart like a loaf. Oh. The imprisoned wild man's hands dart through the bars and digs his fingers into his eyeballs. His face is ripped apart like a loaf of bread, a couple of cut coat, coat hangers for a jaw on his tongue lolling like an uprooted snake. Tostic vomits as his face is doused in blood. Rumald shakes his head. I'd say he'd fit right in with the sons of Odin. Absolutely disgusting, he's perfect. No, he's clearly far too dangerous. Oh man. Well, shall we take him? I think there are some disadvantages. I would like to try him out. Can I do that, please? I can't, somehow. I think that's a bug. No, he's clearly far too dangerous. I can't click that. An outstanding capacity for violence is well suited to a mercenary band. You agree? Aha! Uh -huh. Now we've actually got him. I don't know what's wrong here. I cannot click or do anything. And then in the Jubilee episode, I think this is a broken event. I can't close that. Okay. Sucks. I'll be back in a second. Okay, I've reloaded and I don't have the guy in my group, so in the Jubilee episode... Oh, I need to go to Wormwork actually. An uh, unpleasant event. You step out of your tent to survey the men. A great many of them are freshly hired grunts, nervously buddying up with one another. Alva comes here. I know what you're thinking. You think... You're thinking you just hired a bunch of meat for a treasure. How about I whip these boys into shape? Very well, see if you can teach them to fight against men. Men against men. Bow and arrow. Carry real armor. Yeah, we well, would like to carry real armor. We'll do that again tomorrow. We shall see. Burnout, okay, max fatigue, max fatigue. Max fatigue. That's really good. Even though some of them are archers, it doesn't matter. Fatigue is good. If you don't survive, you can't dish out damage. Okay, they now have safe roads. Is there anything I want to buy, maybe? Maybe some ground grains. What is this bird for? Train can be released to discover hidden prey. That's pretty cool. Now let's go to the Nasenfels. Pause. I want to fight the undead. A few guys though. Let's dare it. This will be very tough. What I do need is to kill the ghost. I need a lucky shot on the ghost ASAP. Here, so you pause. There the ghost comes. You stay. Okay, now he's out of range. Out of vis vision. So can you go here? Not good. Okay, you cannot reach him, so you wait as well. You stay, you stay, you stay, you stay, you stay, you stay, you stay. Those, defeating those Wiedergängers should be okay-ish. 
tricky thing will be to get rid of the ghost. I mean, 15 is obviously quite a lot as well. Okay, I can't reach really at him, so I'll shoot at him. 59. Need to deal some damage there as well. Okay, he's scaring my guys. What does that do? Raise the morale? Okay, it doesn't really work. Shoot! Shoot again! Great. You just stay, you just stay, you just stay, you just stay. Maybe you just go here and shoot, go a bit further. Why is there still that tree in the way? Okay, you attack. I need to engage the ghost. That's actually a shrubbery. So you go here. Great. Okay, I hit one at least. Okay, Tustic, the monk. You can go here to block that passage. Okay, now they are more attacking. He's very brave and maybe dumb. I really need to get rid of the ghost. Lots of them are armored actually. Okay, oh no. There's a second ghost and a third ghost. That's not good. And I'm now fleeing. That is so not good. It was a mistake to attack. If I go here, I cannot attack. So I go here, try to kill him. Okay, one less. Shoot at the ghost. Shoot at the ghost. Shoot at the ghost. Shoot and kill the ghost. Shoot and kill the ghost, okay. Now you... Maybe just go one step so you can actually still attack him. Good. Not so good. Not good. He's in big trouble. I might have to run away, actually. Might not be able to kill the ghosts. I need while I while I need to attack the ghosts. I also need to take the opponents down because they dish out quite some damage. Okay. What the hell? Okay, great. Kill him, come on. No, he's not dead. If I can't get rid of the ghost, I will just have to run. And take the injury. Ok, 
can't shoot at them. We'll have to shoot at him. <laughs> Great. Okay, that was a great chance, actually. Come on. No, that's only 5%, but the banner guy has a decent chance. Oh, no. No. Forty-nine percent. Okay, one goes that gun. Okay, so why is he so much more successful? Maybe because of resolve. Okay, that's not good. We need to get him down, and he needs to rally the troops. Actually, he's trying to escape. Great. Okay, that's not too bad. That's bad. Now, this guy needs to go again with his hatchet. Okay. Almost gone. Okay. 51%. Come on. Good. Can't rally the troops. So one more goes to go. I can shoot at him. Five percent, that's not good. So it's going to be him. Can you take him out alone, Hartmut? I think you can. Okay, you try to get rid of him, please. No, why did he miss? Why did he miss? I need to get closer to the ghost. Okay, his quiver is empty. Okay. Now he's in grave danger, Wiedekind. You kind of need to get into the direction of the ghost. He needs to get through there. Get in from behind. Okay, Wiedekind is gone. That sucks. He's been very, very promising. Can maybe kill him. Yes, you can. You're very injured. The tombs he's shouting, it didn't work, that's for sure. Unfortunately, I can't approach. I need to get rid of this guy. He's in the way. Now he needs to go. He needs to go. It doesn't look as bad as initially. Still bad, but not quite as bad. Good. Now he can't shoot. Robert, you don't have quick hands yet. I'll have you wait. Just a moment. Now you can shoot. You can't shoot at him, you can't shoot at him, you can shoot at him. Good. 5% on 19%, 5% on, on the ghost. Or walk here. I'll take my chances with the ghost. Okay. You go here, shoot at him. Not so good. Okay, luckily he didn't uh, block Kazimir the idiot. So Kazimir can now engage the ghost. Well, not quite. I'll try if I can move him. 
Yes, I can. Good. 60%. Okay, you've recovered. But you are very injured, so you just stay there, please. Reload. 51%. Okay, he wakes up again and he actually... Oh no, it's Wiedekind. It's my own guy. Lots... Oh no! That's not good. Wiedekind is scared. You need to help up here. This guy really needs to go. I'm fighting my own guy. <laughs> Come on, he needs to go. He needs to fight. He Baldwin is out of ammo. But I've got a second quiver. Can do at least one shot. Five percent. I'll take the chances. Now you. You have to go up and help, actually. No way! Miss? Not good. This is a deathly touch. He needs to move one tile. Come on. Please hit him. No, 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 no. Okay, here you stay. 44% for 69. Let's try to send him down to hell. Please. Good, the guy ghost is gone. Now I do stand a chance. It's just a chance. There's actually an achievement if one of your guys comes back. Uh, you get an achievement. So move here. 88%. Thirty-two. Not too bad. Come on, he needs to go. He's just exhausted. Oh, this is looking grim. Attack him. Unfortunately, he can't attack again. Maybe I can do some good up here. Even Alva is exhausted now. Kazimi the idiot is running, that says a lot. About how tough this fight is. I think I, wa I will send him into battle, it's a bit risky. Okay, was so not worth it. Okay, he's gone, that's good. Come on. Good shot. Good. I think you ju guys just stand guard here. You reload. Unfortunately, it's his turn now. Okay, he attacks him. Good. You go up. Come on. Come on, once more. Alba. Out of stamina! Stay there. And he runs. No one wakes up. Okay, that was a super tough fight and I've lost Wiedekind. He's been a good guy, but not many kills. Some level ups. The loot is not impressive. A male coif at least. Let's quickly do... The mail coif thing. 
and then I can lick my wounds in the next episode of Let's Play Battle Brothers. It's quite an exciting episode with a major fight and I've got lots of heads, so that will be lots of money. Thanks a lot for watching, until then, bye for now.